Welcome to the video presentation on Overview of Power Sector in India. Did you know that India is the world's fifth largest generator of electricity? The total installed power capacity as per Central Electricity Authority including non-renewable energy sources in India at the end of 31st May 2016 is 3 lakh 3083 megawatts out of this 1 lakh 1761 megawatts is generated by state owned utilities and 76297 megawatts is generated by central utilities the remaining 1 lakh 25025 megawatts is generated by private sector utilities India generates most of its electricity from coal. Out of the total capacity, 61% of electricity is generated through coal. Total 3,03,083 megawatt. Hydro 42,783 megawatt. Nuclear 5,780 megawatt. Renewable 42,849 megawatt. Coal 1,86,242.88 megawatt Gas 24,508.3 megawatt Diesel oil 918.89 megawatt At present, India has a total power production capacity of 2,11,670 megawatts from thermal projects 42,849 megawatts from renewable energy sources and 5,780 megawatts from nuclear power stations 42,784 megawatts from hydroelectric projects The total installed generating capacity in the country is 3,03,083 megawatts in India, as on 31st May 2016, the demand for electricity is growing rapidly. Energy consumption has increased due to rapid industrial consumption, agricultural consumption, growth in services sector and increased household electrification and household power consumption. The entire country has been divided into five regions for transmission systems. They are Northern Region, Northeastern Region, Eastern Region, Southern Region and Western Region. Energy is generated mostly through two sources. They are conventional and non-conventional sources. Conventional sources include thermal power plants which use fuels such as coal, natural gas, diesel, so on to produce electricity hydroelectric power plants and nuclear power plants non-conventional sources include solar power wind power biomass power geothermal energy tidal wave energy and small hydro in india the top six states with high installed electricity generation capacity as on 31st may 2016 are Karnataka with 17,324 megawatts, Rajasthan with 17,924 megawatts, Uttar Pradesh with 19,292 megawatts, Tamil Nadu with 25,993 megawatts, Gujarat with 30,117 megawatts, and Maharashtra with 40,589 megawatts. The power sector comes under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Power. The three segments in power sector are generation, transmission and distribution. Electricity generation is the process of generating electric power from various sources of primary energy. Most of the electricity that is generated in India is by thermal power plants 
Transmission of electricity is the transfer of power over a long distance at high voltage. It is done through interconnected lines that facilitate this movement. This is known as a transmission network. An electric power distribution system is the final stage in the delivery of electric power. It carries electricity from the transmission system through sub-transmission and distribution systems to individual consumers such as industrial, commercial, domestic, etc. Power sector is mainly divided into three sectors. They are central sector, state sector and private sector. The top central sector companies that generate power in India are National Thermal Power Corporation, Damodar Valley Corporation, National Hydroelectric Power Corporation and Nuclear Power Corporation of India. The top state sector companies that generate power in India are Tamil Nadu Generation and Distribution Corporation Limited, Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited, Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited, Telangana State Power Generation Corporation Limited, West Bengal Power Development Corporation Limited, and Uttar Pradesh Rajya Vidyut Utpadan Nigam Limited. Private sector companies also play a key role in generation transmission and distribution of power. Some of the private sector companies in India are Tata Power, Reliance Power and Adani Power. The present power transmission line length in India is 3,41,551 circuit kilometers as on 31st May 2016. Out of this, the Power Grid Corporation of India Central Power Transmission Utility has a total line length of 1,30,020 circuit kilometers, 38%. The Power Grid Corporation of India Limited is the top power transmission company in central sector in India. The Power Grid Corporation of India is responsible for the interstate transmission of electricity and the development of national grid. The top power transmission companies in state are Maharashtra State Transmission Company Limited, Uttar Pradesh Power Transmission Corporation Limited, Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited, Rajasthan Rajya Vidyut Prasaran Nigam Limited, Andhra Pradesh Power Transmission Corporation Limited, and West Bengal State Electricity Transmission Company Limited. The other private sector power transmission companies in India are Alstom T&D India Limited, Kalpataru Power Transmission Limited, KEC International Limited and BS Limited. As per CEA, the electricity is distributed to about 280 million consumers across various categories such as domestic, commercial, industrial, agricultural and so on as on 31st March 2013. Several power distribution companies serve the consumers. These are both in state and private sector, mostly in state sector. In India, the power distribution companies serve consumers with 73 state distribution utilities, 13 electricity departments, and 17 private distribution companies and few state electricity boards. Some of the top electricity distribution companies in India are Punjab State Power Corporation Limited, PSPCL, Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited, MSEDCL, Uttar Haryana Bijli Vitran Nigam Limited, UHBVNL, Uttar Gujarat Vij Company Limited, UGVCL and Tamil Generation and Distribution Corporation Limited, TANGEDCO. The top private sector power distribution companies in India are Tata Power and BSES Rajdhani Power Limited. 
the functions and duties of central electricity authority of india are as follows advise the central government on the matters relating to the national electricity policy formulate short term and perspective plans for development of the electricity system also advise to coordinate the activities of the planning agencies for the optimal utilization of resources to subserve the interests of the national economy and to provide reliable and affordable electricity to all consumers specify the technical standards for construction of electrical plants electrical lines and connectivity to the grid specify the safety requirements for construction operation and maintenance of electrical plants and electrical lines specify the grid standards for operation and maintenance of transmission lines specify the conditions for installation of meters for transmission and supply of electricity promote and assist in the timely completion of schemes and projects for improving and augmenting the electricity system promote measures for advancing the skills of persons engaged in electricity industry the central electricity regulatory commission is a key controller of power sector in india it regulates the tariff of generating companies that are owned or controlled by the central government the tariff of generating companies other than those owned or controlled by the central government if such generating companies enter into or otherwise have a composite scheme for generation and sale of electricity in more than one state and the interstate transmission of electricity it also issues license to person to function as transmission license and electricity trader with respect to their interstate operations the state electricity regulatory commission is a government agency it is responsible for the administration and regulation of the electricity and power industry in india in various states determine the tariff for generation supply transmission and wheeling of electricity wholesale bulk or retail as the case may be within the state provided that where open access has been permitted to a category of consumers the state commission shall determine only the wheeling charges and surcharge thereon if any for the said category of consumers it electricity purchase and procurement process of distribution licenses including the price at which electricity shall be procured from the generating companies or licensees or from other sources through agreements for purchase of power for distribution and supply within the state facilitate intrastate transmission and wheeling of electricity issue licenses to persons seeking to act as transmission licensees distribution licensees and electricity traders with respect to their operations within the state specify or enforce standards with respect to quality continuity and reliability of services by licensees